Josh, welcome back. And we got to start with the obvious, this number. How is the number six treating you so far? So far, blessed, I think. You know, it's um, for me, it's a number that I had in middle school, all the way up to high school, one in college, but two, four chose me. So I went with that throughout the league and even in college. But, you know, I looked at it as I started with Carolina. And so it kind of started out with six and it was right there for it. And so two, four plus, well, two, four plus four is six, six weeks to the big dance too. So all these sixes just come together, pick six, <laughs> I get there that too. But, you know, it's just, it resonated and it's been my number, my family's number for a long time. So it was just right for the taking. Well, let's keep the sixth theme going then. What were you doing six days ago? <laughs> oh, man, I was out slinging coffee in a barista shop, in a coffee shop, um, being a barista serving people. So it was quite cool, too. Really? Really. I was serving coffee at a coffee shop. Okay. What was your specialty? What could you whip up for everybody? Well, um, I made a nice espresso, okay. uh, really nice two shots okay. in every cup. Um, and it was a latte form, so I had to froth the milk, but they got oat milk first. Mm -hmm. That was the base, and then that was a Lord Omni, which is a sweet potato latte, which is quite different from anything <laughs> else, right? Uh, so it was quite cool, you know, they had different flavors, and, you know, I was just back there slinging coffee, serving people as they came through the door. It was quite a um, humbling experience. Yeah. And just so, so everyone has it, that's an oat milk latte with two shots of espresso if you ever want Josh to make you a drink. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. But Steve Wilkes brought you back. You guys go back a long way. Can you give me your favorite Wilkes story or memory? <laughs> I don't know if this is right for TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Listen, Wilkes been the same since day one. I mean, shoot, his intensity and fire. He got a little bit more gray hairs on him though, <laughs> but uh, nothing has changed. You know, laying bricks is his motto since day one, so nothing is off about that. Staying green, locked in, and obviously the most infamous um, what's your weapons? Mm -hmm. And they always been taught to us since day one. It's four things that, you know, make or break a play it's eyes, feet, hips, and hands, and no matter what. And obviously you are here because you want to make plays for this team, but Wilkes also talked about the DNA that you have and, and your history here. What can you tell these young guys about this game coming up and its importance? You know, it's a mindset. It really is. I mean, it's truly that. And you can see a dog when they walk on the field. Mm -hmm. You can feel his presence. You know what it is. You know what it's like. So the mentality switch is quite different from anything else. Uh, we having fun, but yet at the same time, Lights come on, it's business and, and nothing personal, but we're going after that rock. And I think that's the mindset, you know, he wanted to bring in the building and, you know, he knew I had it. And since day one with him, that's what he instilled in me. I just played it out through all of my, you know, my career. And now here we are back at it again, doing the same thing. And it's right for the taking. We got a special opportunity and, you know, I'm just appreciative that he still thought of me in this moment to uh, come out and help this ball club any way I can. You know, I bleed black and blue. So keep pounders in our DNA. So no matter what we do, we always kill pounder. All right, well, before I let you go, uh, I was talking to Thomas Davis yesterday. He's upset that he didn't get the call from Steve Wilkes. I mean, does Wilkes need to give him a call? We bring him back as well? Listen, him, Trey Foster, Steve Smith, all those guys I saw they just round up the whole band, right? <laughs> She's Louise, I tell you. Uh, Amy Luke, you know, I was at his house the other day. But, you know, it's just crazy because, you know, coming back and playing with those guys, I still carry that same mindset and mantra with me, you know, still on the field and I'm able to do it. Um, still today, um, age I am, and, and I still youthful feeling about it, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's great to be able to have those guys still in our corner because when we was here, you know, we had that moment. It was special. You know, nothing's going to ever take that away, but we got a chance right now to make it right. Mm -hmm. And here we are, and it's a perfect uh, setup for the plot. So. All right, Josh, thank you so much for the time, and welcome back. Absolutely. Thank you all for having me, as always. Love the Queen City. Nothing like it.